Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Off the up, Field people? Podcast, episode number 20. You may notice Two zero. Momo and I not in the same shot. That's because I finally paid up and got another camera. I mean, honestly, I'm looking at it right now, tears of joy running down my face. You may have also noticed Mobo and I switched spots. He's on my, I, I couldn't pay rent on time, so he demoted <laughs> me to the big couch with everybody else. We have new mics. Yes, sir. Everybody has the same mic now, so we just put it to the same settings and everyone should sound the same. Your audio should not have to be tampered with anymore, hopefully. Do you hear me doing bubbles? I do hear you doing bubbles. <laughs> uh, the reason we switched is because the audio box that all our mics are plugged into is over here, right next to me. So it's just easier for me to have the control of it and uh, the headphones plug in right here also. But uh, yeah, 2-0. We've reached 20. I feel Amazing. good. I mean, how, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. And, uh, you know, we have a around the horn that is pretty big that I want to get started with. Oh, hit us. Jacob hit us DeGrom. Again. Dude, he's <laughs> out for the year with Tommy John. Man. Here's the thing. I He knows how much I wanted to have Jacob DeGrom on the Angels this year because, let's face it, he'd probably be the best signing that we could do, at least in that moment. Mm-hmm. Hindsight paid off. We, yeah. we, we we dodged a bullet, Literally. but, I mean, we still have Ohapi out. But better one than two. Literally when I said or found out the news – I was like, that was the one thing I was afraid of if we signed him. Yeah. So thank God we didn't sign him. I love how Fireball thought you were praying on uh, DeGrom's downfall. I know. I just liked the photo of the, <laughs> the did, post. All you do is like it. And Fireballs are like, you're an asshole. This and that. And then, uh, <laughs> so that was the bad news that I wanted to bring to you guys around the horn. Let's get some more brighter news. It's not even news. It's just something that kind of happened. Uh, Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown took batting practice with mm. the Phillies. Who hit the home run? Neither of them. Weak <laughs> boys hit the gym. They almost did. AJ Brown looks like he actually played. Yeah. He had a pretty solid swing. Jalen Hurts had like the most like robotic swing. It was like his stance, <laughs> one, two, three swing. But they all they both almost went deep, but they did not. And uh with episode twenty, unlike the last two episodes, I believe, we have guests again. Yes, <laughs> yes, we did. And it is duo. It is the siblings, Regina and, and Uncle Slam. Please join Mobo over there. Up, what's up? What's up, guys? Make yourselves comfy. Make yourself comfy. Mobo's gonna have to help them with their mic. Go ahead and go ahead and just swing it. No, just swing it around. Swing yeah, it around. Swing it. Right Bring it around over. town. <laughs> no, the other way. Mobo. The other Mo- way. <laughs> okay. Damn. Oh wow. Okay, we were and then it work. should end up right where it needs to be. She was about to hit herself in the head, and I was about to laugh so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Just drags it into herself. No, well, I, I, I was going like that. No, you're good. Oh, how about, how about you, that? How you should sound? be able to relax with it. You should be able to lean back, and it should pick you guys up fine. Yeah, you can hear us, right? Yeah, I can yeah. hear you. How long have you been siblings? <laughs> uh, my whole life. <laughs> yeah, your whole life? That's crazy. <laughs> Not my whole life. No? Two and a half. Yeah, I think that's one thing that people might be shocked to find out is that you're older than yeah, yeah. Uncle Slam. Yep, all the time. Do yeah. you like being the oldest in your family? Yes and no. I'm the oldest. Oh, hey, we're babies. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me and Slam, we good. They say the oldest have the most intelligence. So That's just not factual. Just no. not that. I'm on the defensive here because <laughs> some stuff she says, bro, that, that doesn't flow. You guys, for our next question, the, the fans wanted to know, and personally, I want to know, do you know the Muffin Man? Personally, no. <laughs> um, didn't that fool get shot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was on World Star. He, he, got, he died after a oh, game Oh, that might have been that fake meme account, bro. I don't know. I can't tell news sources nowadays. <laughs> Dude, they're all over the place. Breaking dude. news. Yeah. <laughs> the Muffin Man just shot at 19. Were you friends with him, Regina? The Muffin she Man? She might have known him. <laughs> I told you he'd be a random one to throw out there. Because he lives off of Drury Lane. Like, everybody knows him. <laughs> all, all jokes aside, now the, the real interview questions. Yeah. What's the most annoying thing one sibling does to each other? Like, what's something that Regina does to you, Chris, that gets on your nerves? Yeah. Or that really grinds your gears, you know? Honestly, <laughs> she's just there, bro. <laughs> just, Damn. Just the, the energy is off when you're yeah. in the room. No. Just dude, existing, crazy. he said. Every time he does something wrong, somehow he blames me. <laughs> <laughs> just the, cl- the classic baby pointing at the older, yeah. the older sibling, huh? Well, <laughs> you know, no, like, no, 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 that's just wrong because, first of all, uh-huh. 
<laughs> I don't remember a time where I was in the wrong. <laughs> here's, here's the thing, though. I, honestly, growing up, I would do the exact same to my brother. Yeah. And, dude, it was the best to just cry wolf and be like he's the one that told me to do it and just point the fingers right to him yeah, yeah oh, that, that kind of energy win. i so. see what you mean now my brother will just go like well regina <laughs> i'm here eating cereal that's like, just a skill problem what? Right? i know both of you and mobo knows both of you obviously I through think. dodger films you think i think so yeah. i think i know They're and i believe I'm familiar with how you started playing, especially you. Mm -hmm. I'm almost positive. I actually have no clue. So I'm Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it because of the let the kids play with Fernando? No. No? No, bro. I, I could have sworn Come that on, was that's how. That's some bozery right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what was wait, that Wait, wait, wait. When was the script released for your your episode no 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 what was that I, I need a vocabulary word of the week right there what did you say that's some bozery bozery that's like that's some bozo but like a re <laughs> like like a like a mix of bozo and tomfoolery yeah, yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> that's what i thought it was because the first time i ever saw you was at that game and that's back when you saw your glasses yeah <laughs> you... no i was down bad my vision was down bad I just got no. contacts. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right on. You made a sliding catch in that game on your knees, and that's why it got the attention of everybody in that game. Uh-huh. And then I just remember you showing up at Dodger Films like a week later. I was playing I was playing like three months before that in Dodger Films. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say I my, feel like my when, bad. I, when I first started, I feel like I saw him a couple times. Yeah. Well, well I honestly don't remember when it was solidified until we started playing at like the field that's in between everybody. Mm-hmm. So I was kind of like the it's not all of you guys. Like, for the longest time, I didn't know art was the run that came in for I Got This. When I Got This became a thing oh, for me, really? art was the run that scored. Really? And I didn't know that till like, two years ago. No, that's some, that's some new knowledge for me, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is some good Dodger Films lore, right? Yeah. That, that's beautiful lore. Okay, beautiful so... Lore. This is what we need. So, you were already playing, then, by the mm -hmm. time Let the Kids Play happened. How did you find your way into Dodger Films? So, I was at a Dodgers game, and I went up to Benny, and I'm like... Hey, could I just go watch a Dodger Films game? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Benny was basically like, "Yeah, you could come watch." So um, I um, I appeared, bro. <laughs> you just phased in. I just had like a Remember little. Remember, he gave you just yeah, part of a park gave name? me like a the part of the address or whatever. Yeah, and I I had to look for it and. Um, <laughs> I looked for the address. After researching, you After know. After researching extensively, like, the L.A. County area. I like how it's kind of, like, it's similar to Dallas's story. Yeah. Uh, you heard Dallas's story yeah, on the Outback. pod? Yeah, an Outback <laughs> Steakhouse. <laughs> he just ran into Benny, and then was like, yo, can I play? So, yeah, I just, like, hey, can I watch? So, I found the park, and uh, my mom was like, hey, like, just bring your glove just in case. Because I said, hey, can I watch, not can I play? Yeah. So I like said like I was just ready just to watch because yeah. like I didn't want to be like hey can I play just throw myself out yeah there. let me get in there yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me get in there put me in short you know what I mean <laughs> so, <laughs> I ended up playing and it was like really fun and you know it it sticks so yeah now Regina a big Dodger Films fan or were you just like who's the who's this guy my nerdy little brother's watching you're basically, like oh my god that one basically so my brother nah. and his friends would always put it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and, so and you were just along for the ride at the beginning. Yeah, basically, I was just there, <laughs> yeah. and I'm just like watching it. I'm like, okay, like you know, the first episode I watched was when you got hit. Oh, nice. Nah. <laughs> Wait, in person? No. Oh okay. no, like like on the video. Oh, so video. you guys weren't there yet when I got no, hit. No, we weren't there. So I'm yeah, like, that sucked. This shit goes wild, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Watch your life. No, no, no. no, no on no. the pod, we're we don't, fine. We don't, we don't censor anything. Oh, Speaking really? Well, for like the first five minutes. So, don't go too wild. Strap yourselves in, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to hear me say some words I've never said before. <laughs> That's probably been true for the fans that have watched this, for a few of the guests on the podcast. Really? Oh, yeah. For some people, Without they probably dropped like a fuck and they're like... <laughs> oh, <just> like <gasps> probably Javi, because Javi's just like super No, hard. Javi needs a redo. Javi's Hob episode... <laughs> My man was, he was in the trenches. Guys. He was we'll going just, through it. We'll just say that, all right? So, he, our, bro was, our bro was going through it, but he made it out. <laughs> we need to get Javi He's back. Up now. He's <laughs> bro up. made it out. Okay, so so you were watching us on YouTube. Yes, and mm -hmm. I was actually in a Dodgers group chat with Javi and Angel. Already? I just, yes. I just, the hell? Yeah, and I'm like, oh, wait. I was following Javi, and then all of a sudden he had like, 
a bunch of followers. A bunch of followers. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. The first Javi account. Yeah. Javi the fresh one. Javi and I became really close. Mm-hmm. So we've always been like best friends. And then I remember Angel in there. And I just thought he was such a jerk. <laughs> oh, just right off the bat, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Just total dickhead. I understand that. <laughs> About to get to that after this. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you guys oh, off, but thank you. yes, everyone, every guest gets an honorary water. Oh, nobody gets, nobody goes parched. Can you guys sign it after? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. I'm gonna hang this up in my foyer. <laughs> are you, are you guys foyer. even gonna open it? <laughs> oh yeah. No, don't open it. It's don't ruined. open it. Really? Uh, you lost you all just, its value. You, you lost your value. <laughs> Regina still has her limited edition one of one. <laughs> You'll be like, I'm gonna reseal she... it. I'm gonna reseal it. Nah, we'll know. We have the technology. I went to go watch, and Hobby's like, "Well, are you gonna play?" And I'm like. No. <laughs> if you remember my first episode, I was wearing a halter top and shorts. <laughs> so I was not dressed to play. And Javi's like, I'll pay you 50 cents. Like, 50 cent contract for the day? I would take that any I, day of the so week, too. I ended up playing. <laughs> Javi never gave me that 50 cents. Oh. oh. And that's nah. crazy because you still owe me $12, Javi. Oh. It's been a month. Can we send a loan shark to go he, get Javi? He owed Red Shorts money, and Red Shorts, he told oh him, he's Lord. like, you better pay me back or you're going to regret it. <laughs> Let's just say he regretted it. He did something. <laughs> Javi paid him back. Your favorite Dodger Films moment. Did you think about it? <laughs> yeah. What is it? What is All it? All right, well, I was going to say my first home run. Yeah, I was expecting that. But, but there's one that tops this, in my opinion. Okay. It's kind of a boring moment, but I feel obligated to share this. Okay. Okay. Regina's first home run. I mean, not home run. She's not going to ever come close to that. <laughs> Regina's first <laughs> catch. Hot. That, that was wild. Yeah. That was Regina's wild. first catch. I mean, it was electric. It was electric. Yeah, that was on the so. championship game, right? Yeah, championship yeah, yeah. game. A lot of people shit. don't know, though. They, it happened a long time ago, yeah. but it was off camera. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. We weren't filming this episode. We were playing a, a fun game, right? Just yeah. like yeah. one of those after, like, yeah. yeah. And you in right field, right? Yeah. That one's more impressive than it behind is. the plate. It was, it was, <laughs> it was, it was, a, it was a running catch, too. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Regina? Is that your favorite moment? Playing, possibly. Yeah. But just the London trip. Because mm-hmm. I feel like we were still kind of new. It was like maybe our only second year playing with you guys. Yeah. And we didn't really know anyone's personalities mm-hmm. yeah. and then that trip i feel like we all kind of just like bonded okay yeah. what was That's your favorite vacay that we've done <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh my god the vacay i really like the boston and chicago yeah. one yeah That's you're wearing a fenway oh, hoodie right now yeah i am i actually got it on that trip <laughs> nice dude i like so, it a lot thank you bro. Uh, let me have it right now <laughs> <laughs> thanks to lumpy the name uncle creamy <laughs> oh, yeah. is possibly Becoming your new nickname. No. Are you fully embracing it or do you hate it? Creamy. Okay. Creamy. 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 Yes. So, Uncle Creamy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm fine with the name Uncle Creamy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, the only worrisome part is if I go to Dodger Stadium and a bunch of kids. Oh, I up. never even thought oh. about that. <laughs> It starts catching on. Oh and my I'm god, like, Uncle Creamy! 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 The, the hey mom yo, of the, Uncle Creamy, can I take a with you? The mom of the seven-year-old. Hey, yo, yo, step away from him now. I didn't even... I never oh, thought shit. about that. I thought about that literally last night, and I'm like, ooh, that's not a good look. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. I gotta admit, though, the play on catchphrases that come with the yeah, yeah. games... Oh, it's so sick. Oh my god. Get creamed on. Uncle Creamy gonna cream this one. <laughs> I'm gonna cream on it, Bobby. Oh, yeah. And then you two playing kickball in right field together. Everyone was like, it's Big D and Uncle Cream. Aw, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, so, oh, if I were you, if I was in this position, I would fully be embracing yeah. it. Yeah. Although, oh, I never that. thought about the fans. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's just, I don't want a bunch of 12-year-olds coming up. Yo, Uncle Creamy, can I take a flick? <laughs> creamy! Maybe. Creamy! All right, for the... Hopefully a thousand viewers that we will get on this. If you're a fan and you see him, in person it's Uncle Slam. Yes. On video, it's Uncle Uncle Creamy. Creamy. Uncle Creamy. Strictly (laughs) Uncle Creamy. On cam. Oh my god. Now, did this come out of nowhere or did you say something to Lumpy that kind of... No, no. This came out of the blue, bro. Okay. (laughs) Okay. I was... was, Okay, the video, I don't know when it's coming out. Yeah. Um, The original one where I was called Uncle Creamy. Yeah. 
<laughs> you should have saw my face where I got picked. Bro. You were like, like huh? what? The? Now it's crazy because he's changing people's names all over the place. Ryan is Rhino now. Yeah, Rhino. That's, Rhino. That's Low Kirsch. I don't think that one's gonna stick. No. That's never gonna that's stick. That's gonna like, have the Uncle. There, there's magic. no flair, and it just yeah. doesn't fit. Remember like, his uh, Yoshi trend? Yeah, yeah that Yoshi that wasn't towards a, a player, but he was just like, for some reason, Lumpy just started saying Yoshi. He just spoke in Yoshi. Your father, Fred. Mm. Ooh, we need is to know. Is it hard? Living up to the legend of Fred? Yes. Yeah. Instantly, yes. Can Everyone you give us some Fred, Fred lore? <laughs> I would love Fred to hear some Fred lore. You know lore. what? I have a hard time <laughs> living because... <laughs> <laughs> I never know if I'm... Like, he casts too big of a shadow. Yeah, exactly. It's like... It's like growing up and your dad's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. You're never going to be as great as nope. your dad. And everyone it's like you. It's like you need mom. to give up now. You know what yeah. I mean? There's no point to life, really. Yeah. To be honest. Gotta... Like he's good at everything somehow. Now, are there... Oh. We know the Fred on the field. All the people at Dodger Films. Are there any crazy, wild Fred stories that live up to the Fred Bobby's built up? I don't head? necessarily have a fun one. Well, Okay. <laughs> But, we, we can um, go that route. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> so there's this funny story, right? Yeah. Like my dad was out shopping for electronics. Uh huh. Yeah. Sounds like a Fred thing. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Just to power his like seven generators. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So he just like he just hates ignorant people. Yeah. Okay. So as, say as if you're if, if you're a if you're a minimum wage worker or whatever. Yeah. And you mess up, bro. Yeah. You're gonna get the wrath of Fred. <laughs> No, your dad's not like that. Don't say that. He's not that. like a Karen, but... So He's a Ken. Time. Yeah. So one time we were at Harbor Freight Tools. Okay. Uh -huh. Love that. And, you know, he he was going in because he had a like coupon uh -huh. or yeah. something. Yeah. He gets up there. He's so excited that he's going to get some money off oh, of Oh, no. They tool, told him, right? your coupon's yeah. expired, sir. <laughs> or no, something like that. it wasn't even expired. They okay. weren't taking it. Okay. And my dad's like, what is this for? freaking pencil <laughs> he's <laughs> smart with it too he's funny bro i think like I think, sometimes i purposely want to go with him to these excursions mm -hmm. because bro he like lays down some facts and knowledge bro it's funny oh my God. this sounds like i don't know if you it's like know. it's like not even a ken or a karen it's just like funny if we go through a drive-thru and he's driving he'll make us order <laughs> yeah. hey, as you should like yeah, Fred, bro, Fred's like, help dude now this is my brother We're energy that I'm getting <laughs> who many people don't even know I have a brother did you know I have a brother no yeah see <laughs> my dad said he'll go with him to Starbucks sometimes and he's like okay I already put the order in it should be ready go get it and he won't even get out of the car to go get it nah <laughs> yeah. oh was, Bryce what are you doing me, bro like three years ago <laughs> okay, I feel like so every kid I goes through it. it there's like the order for me yeah. <laughs> oh, you know who's still in, you know who was still kind of in it is Kirsch. Kirsch is Kirsh breaking Hobby. the mold he, barely, he just asked chipping me at what it. What kind of steak he got? He's like, Regina, what kind of steak do I normally get? I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's medium. Does he not remember? I don't think he remembered at that point because he was just oh now starting God. to. Get I want to. I want to declare a war on DoorDash. Why? Oh. <laughs> because I feel like Straight when you it. order something, you never get what you ordered. True. There's always there's always some mess up. Yeah. Something messed up, no matter how particular you order. Even if you just order one or two things, something's either always missing, or you sometimes you even get extra stuff. I'll tell you. I'll oh. tell you what that was <laughs> back before all the electronic delivery apps. What year? First of all, what year were you guys born in? Two thousand four. Two thousand four. I was in kinder. Two thousand one. Oh my god. I was in kinder. <laughs> oh, okay. I was pooping in a diaper in two thousand one. But two thousand four, I was in kinder. I was in kinder in two thousand. One. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> One place that would be like that, where they, no matter what, they always screwed it up, they're fine now, was McDonald's. Really? Back then, they would, no, every time, they would screw it up. Yeah. Somehow. I I feel like they're, they're better than most places now. I feel like every fast food place is good yeah. with that. They don't really screw the orders up anymore. No, not at all. You know what else? I saw a TikTok about this. This has nothing to do with our <laughs> guest, but it just popped into my head. What you got? What you got? McDonald's and all fast food places in general are just boring and gray now. Yes. Yeah. I saw, yes. dude, no, no, I, I saw what you mean. There's one of a KFC that was shaped like the bucket. Mm -hmm. And then it's just. And KFC. McDonald's used to have red roofs. Yeah. They used to have the arches. Like, it's whack. I don't know. Everything's just getting like modernized, like rectangle. And it's because everybody wants to look clean. Everybody wants to look more like posh, professional, but. You're going to McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't need You're a suit. You're not going to Black Angus, bro. This, this might be a <laughs> exactly. surprise to you guys. Did you know McDonald's used to have GameCubes? 
yeah. in the McDonald's. Really? You you knew that. I know you knew that. I would play with them and I would <laughs> be the had, one to break they them. They had like eight GameCubes that were locked in so you couldn't like just take the GameCube and go, <laughs> I'll handle this. Cool. Guys, I know you have your own car, right? You mm -hmm. Did you buy it? Yes. Nice. What is that car? It's a 2006 BMW i something okay now i <laughs> i i heard this out in the air through your mother did she say it's not your car because you can't even drive it yet <laughs> yeah. yeah which to be fair bro i'm not pressing about that because mm -hmm. honestly i rather her drive it and yeah <laughs> you'd save that thing from rotting in the driveway so. now how close are you to your license um I took the permit. I failed one, so I just got to take it again. I feel like everyone permit. either fails yeah. the permit or the drivers. Yeah. Just at least once. So I got to take that permit test again and hopefully uh, pass this time. Okay. And then Regina, what about you? I mean... <laughs> Do you even want your license right now? Yes and no, but okay. every time I try to like start the process, I get in an accident. I'm like, <laughs> fuck that. No. <laughs> That's going to be one for the fans. They're going to be like... Regina just said fuck? Did you hear this, Mobo? What? I know. They're going to... No, when I go live, people are like, you speak? <laughs> oh, like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, Regina unlocked a new feature. I don't know if you have a truck, but I know you want a truck. Do you have a so, truck already? So, I've kind of came up with the idea of stealing my parents' truck. Huh? The one really you arrived in? No. Oh, there's like, another it's, truck? It's like a... It's a, a truck truck. It's okay. A truck. And my dad... He hates that, but I put an R on the keychain. Yeah. I've, you know, put blankets in the back seat to make it all cute. Trying to manifest I, I'm, it. You're sprucing I'm just it up. Letting him know that when I do get my license, it's uh -huh. most likely going to be driven by me. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then my mom, she's like, "Yeah, once you learn how to drive, you know, it's yours." Mm. And I'm like, "Great." And I even told my dad, "I'll pay like." How much, how much do you want for it? I'll pay for it. Fred right. ain't going to let that slide. <laughs> Fred, Fred is like, nope, you're He's not taking my truck. He's the idea when I'm like, I'm going to go sit in my truck and just turn it on because I have to do chores with it. <laughs> so when I'm like, I'm going to go do the ch chores for the truck, it's just kind of caught on and I'm like, my truck. Sometimes he's like, fine with it. And then other times he's like... What did you just say? And I'm like, yeah, you've heard. You know. <laughs> so what's your guys' headspace with the licenses? Because when Kershey was on the podcast, he just got his license. And when we were getting ours, we wanted it like as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. I, so, I wanted to drive at 16, but so, my mom didn't. And I'm not just saying it's you guys. I've noticed it a lot with <laughs> your generation. Oh, yeah. Everyone that I graduated with yeah. pretty much don't have a license. I don't? Think. So yeah. 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 So what's the like? What's the mindset? Like, How come you guys don't want it like instantly? I, think, like, I honestly just think it's L.A. Oh, just like the driving around driving L.A.? Driving around in L.A. I think another thing that just does it for the whole generation, because this, this wasn't around when we got our licenses, yeah. is Uber, Lyft. Mm -hmm. And it's either they have parents that can drive them places. Yeah. If they don't have parents, they got the apps. My mom's willing to drive a lot of places for me. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, I, I'm realizing, like, I got to, like, for job opportunities and stuff, I got to drive. Right. So. Oh, yeah. For me, it was the same yeah. way. Like, my parents were able to drive me somewhere if I needed to. But it, once I was, like, the freedom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was yeah. like, if I need to go, I'm going to go. And you can't stop me. Mm -hmm. You could just get lost. I was watching a show where somebody was trying to get where they were going with a map. Like, you know, back in the day when oh, that yeah. is a huge map. Oh, my. Dude, I found like, something like that. Like, how do you navigate that? He had his finger on the road. The road's like this small. <laughs> He's like, all right, if I go here, I'm good. <laughs> how do you know? Like, cross-country trips? You had to have made like a thousand wrong turns. You know what's funny? Before GPSs were a thing, I remember as a kid... We went from here to Texas, Texas to Cali, mm -hmm. and we made a pit stop in Las Vegas before coming back home completely. Yeah. And from Las Vegas, you guys kind of, I guess, have an idea. So there's a road that'll take you back home, right? Mm -hmm. Which is one of the main freeways. And then our family friend was like, at the time of just looking at maps, he's like, oh yeah, dude, this side road is going to save you at least an hour and a half. <laughs> so that way you can get back. Bro, tell me why we went to Arizona. <laughs> You hear the confidence in his voice, and you're like, let's go, you know? Why would you Perfect. question it? He's the yeah. native. Like, let's listen to him. And then I don't know, we're just, why are we in Arizona? Pick you know up. I got a ticket from the WBC trip <gasps> oh, in Arizona? Yeah. Like, two months later. How? <laughs> Speeding. Oh. <laughs> Nobody Tired. out. Nobody. Nobody, in, not a single soul. <laughs> not even a rattlesnake. And all we see is, like, giant flash. Just oh. like, poof. Like, Was it on, like, the freeway or something? 
it, no, it was, it was like, like a, a, you know what, PCH, right? Yeah. Here? So it's like, it's not a freeway, it's a highway. Mm-hmm. It was like a highway. Yeah. So it was like that. And then it was a giant van, like just a sprinter van, and then just a big flash on the side of the road. That shit was blinding. Sue them, bro. It's, it's giving the flash on, like, roller coasters. Oh, the picture? <laughs> no, yeah. No, it's exactly like that, but... Bro, go back and take a couple pictures for the boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen people do those edits on TikTok. Nah, I was kind of bummed because so sometimes the pictures can be funny, the ones no. that capture of you. <laughs> Mine sucked, bro. Yeah. He was in the car too. You couldn't see him in any of the four pictures. And then it, it was just like me, like barely visible. <laughs> it's like this. It's yeah. just him. Just... <laughs> yeah. Do you go on roller coasters? Oh, I love them. What? I've, I've, I've been oh, yeah. on everything in California, I think. Wow. I yeah. was not expecting that. Oh, so you love Six Flags? Yeah. Six Flags. Like, Flags oh, we got to go. Yeah. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, we have to because Magic Mountain. Bro. Like Magic Mountain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My first favorite roller coaster was Free Fall, which is kind of like Superman. I was mm-hmm. six. So I've always kind of oh, like shit. loved it. And we, the just went deep. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, Tawny. Cool. Oh, we'll take a triple. Hey, nice what? little triple. Okay. Okay, get the inside the park home run. That's a home get run. Get the inside the park home run. Oh, he's going. Oh! oh, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's, he's, he's good. It. He's good. Yeah, he's, he's oh, on. Oh, he turned oh. around. They're going to review that for Yeah, I was going to say, though. I thought it was gone anyways. It was gone. From the get go. Shohei Otani. <laughs> you and your mom told me that he eats in a sushi spot around my area. That is what I've heard. Interesting. Yeah. And, and uh, lucky like for some, me. Someone's told me like where it's at, and I'm like, I'm going to go camp out there. <laughs> lucky for me, I just started <laughs> loving sushi. So. <laughs> I'm like, I, we should go camp there. Yeah. This is something I'm excited to talk about. Two of my favorite people who have the most broken swings in Dodger Films history. Wrap me up, baby. <laughs> We are a different breed. The only know. two people I know who have over-rotated so much, yes. they went down to the ground. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about this. So, I think you did it first, yeah. and you came out fine. Well, I don't know about fine. Oh, what com- The comparison. comparison. <laughs> Here's the thing. I feel like, on some level, I injured myself pretty gnarly, but me being the <laughs> macho Latino I am, I straight up like hobbled around the house for like two months being like, I'm fine. I'm fine, and it hurt like fuck to put pressure on my knee. But yeah, <laughs> toxic masculinity. So yeah, Mobo had a swing where he just what over gyrated the rotation of your body, and <laughs> you know what sucked too is I remember it clear as day. It's like 2017. I'm in the prime of getting my swing down. I was hitting bombs. I was hitting nothing but nukes. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, I saw that ball, and it, I was like, oh, I got this. And I swung so hard. It was my pants, and then all I remember was I'm on the floor. Yeah, Whoa. your your <laughs> left foot was like Dude. sideways, flat. Like Andy has a picture. We'll, we'll I'll try uh, to find yeah, it. Yeah, we'll have to it. hit up Andy because Andy holds that photo to death. Like, <laughs> he's like, don't. don't. He he, he like, literally still picture. has it. I know he does. If we text him, he'll hey run Dones back when he get back. Huh? Hey, welcome back, buddy. Okay. Slam over mm. there. Yours was in the home run derby. Yeah. The one where Gabe broke the lights, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's the video if you want to go find it you went down to the ground same way as mobo (laughs) and i was like what the heck just happened (laughs) okay so i was dude i was going off i think like three home runs Uh, right in a row three home technically i never got out oh (laughs) you had to leave due to injury wait so So, it's still going right now. it's still going right now so i hit i hit i think like two home runs in a row on inside pitches Mm-hmm. And I got another inside pitch, but this one might have been a little too inside. <laughs> so you were you were really trying to rotate. I was, it was really inside. trying to rotate on this one. Uh huh. So, but I rotated too much. Yeah. Okay. So this is funny. Mm-hmm. I, I I talked to my parents and Regina about this right before the game. I'm like, I'm not gonna wear cleats today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wear turfs. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> and these man. turfs had no grip. I told him it was like an awful idea. Yeah, but she if was... you want to wear them, go ahead. But I'm like, the outcome is not gonna be. I'm like, good. not pretty. I'm like, it's not gonna be good. But nothing it was bad not is pretty gonna at happen, all. right? Nothing, <laughs> nothing bad has ever happened in softball. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he got right. hit in the face. Yeah, right? yeah I don't know about so, that. And then I think that everybody thought that you lost like your whole mouth. Oh yeah. <laughs> People were like, "Is he have a prosthetic now?" I'm like, "What the hell?" Well, it's because Benny in the video was like, he lost like seven teeth. I lost, <laughs> I, I, I lost two, and they're both back in my mouth. So the, he's the got a prosthetic teeth. mouth. So. All you do is drink smoothies for like breakfast. I had to for like a week. What are you looking at? Why are you looking at Jimbo? There's a sound coming from Jimbo, and it sounds like a cicada. Like, like a cicada. It's funny because I've been hearing that for like the past week and a half. And when I'm rendering a video, that PC down there goes hardcore. It's like... It sounds like the PlayStation 4 trying so, to take But off. then like the cords, if they're touching the glass, you'll yeah. hear them like... 
<laughs> and so I thought it was that, but then I wasn't rendering a video, and I was like, the hell's that noise? And it's been here for a while now, so I don't... Um, There's a new resident. I'm kind of losing it. <laughs> uh, you and me. Mobo came out with just like a little limp, like, ah, put some ice on it. Little. You, did, did Dude, you tear your ACL? <laughs> I tore my, like... ACL, MCL. And oh like, my God. You did not do all three in a go. No, dude. Like, I had to do um, physical therapy for like... I don't even know what I did. I could be wrong with my... But dude, I tore like... No. ACL meniscus, I think. Oh, man. So, oh, um, I had to do physical therapy and I have to see the doctor again because physical therapy failed. Oh, really? So, oh. I have to like go see to see like what's the next step, like surgery or redo physical therapy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, was even till this day, not too long ago, you've also still had a knee brace at No, times. I have to wear that knee brace pretty much every time I do physical activity yeah. because my knee literally randomly locks up. Oh, man. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all because I decided to swing at an inside pitch. It's yeah. Wearing turfs. Wearing turfs. Yeah, and turfs. the funniest thing is, because people, obviously, it didn't look that bad in the video. People didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I was scrolling on TikTok. Yeah. And there was this video where it's like Uncle Sam gets injured in the home run derby then hits the walk. <laughs> what? I remember that. Because I was on the ground and I just started hitting the ground like this. Oh, over. that's all. <laughs> yeah. And the WAP? Did they play the song in the yeah, TikTok? Yeah, they were like, ah, oh, dude, that was actually pretty funny. Whoever made that. Yeah. You know what I need to show you guys after this? And for the fans, go watch my baseball behind the scenes. Do it. Me and Bobo were watching it before you guys got here. I did not notice this while editing. I did not notice this while doing my... I, I always pre-watch my vlogs to make sure there's no errors. And we were watching it because we wanted to. And at the very beginning, right after I promote uh, the softball crew arrival questions, <laughs> and it goes back to full screen, you can see Lumpy practicing ground balls, and he's chasing one, and he trips over first and eats it. <laughs> <laughs> and we, I didn't notice until we watched it right well, that's now. that's payback for calling me Uncle Creamy. You know? <laughs> Dude, I think a lot of people in softball want payback on Lumpy right now. He's literally in the middle of that stage where he's just on everyone's nerves. No, he's, right being, now. he's being a, he's a in great his a menace. Arc right he's now. in his he villain. He's being a menace. That's what he is. He literally in the kickball video, my kickball behind the scenes, he comes up to me in the third inning. I've been playing shortstop for two innings, and he's like, "I'm here," and I'm like, "The hell!" I'm like, "Get out of here!" And I go, "Shoo, shoo!" like that, and then it cuts to Cheyenne, and she kicks. And he's still next to me, and it cuts back to me and him. And I'm like, I've been here the whole game. Go away. <laughs> what would you say the knee's at now, 100% to zero? Honestly, on good days, it's like a seven. But on bad days, it's literally like a three. Wow. I'm scared for when I get like, because right now, I'm supposed to be a healthy 18-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm like a... When I'm a 40 year old, my oh, dad man. complains about everything like his back because he's a working man, right? Yeah. When I'm a working man with a bum knee, bro, it's going to be tough. I got bad back. My whole family's got a bad back. And if I go too long without a backrest, my shoulder blade feels like there's a knife yeah. like stabbing into it. Mm -hmm. Is that what it feels like when it's at your worst? Like there's a knife just going into your knee? No, it just literally like, so it like is stuck right here. And when I straighten it, it there's like, it just locks up back here and I can't straighten it. You can't it. put it back down. It, yeah. It's just, mm. oh wow. So it's not even so pain. I it's just like. knee brace. It like, it like hurts a little bit just so it kind of like just reinforces it. So it doesn't lock up and stuff. Okay. So oh, I heard this. I need to know if this is true. <laughs> we all need to know. Cause this one threw so us. So there, there, there was one week where you were there, Regina and Julio went up to Sh your mom, Shiloh and asked, where's Chris? <laughs> <laughs> I think he already knows. He's already laughing. And, you, and you said he dislocated his knee. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fucked. Like, oh, I yeah. I shouldn't be laughing. Julio, but. Julio already told me what happened. I was like, what the hell? In your sleep? Yeah. It makes so a lot I more was, I was sleeping and I woke up and it was just. just okay. Woke. Makes a, a lot more sense now after you described the whole injury. <laughs> yeah. But after before we heard that, we're like, how do you dislocate your knee yeah. in your sleep? I think I heard Austin just pull the fattest, huh? From like <laughs> yeah, yeah. millennia ago. That shit was yeah. hilarious. Dude, so basically, like. No, I just decided I dislocated my knee and decided to basically just take a rest that day. Okay. Yeah. Now, when the injury happened, did you think like you'd be able to play again? Honestly, or... I didn't know because I literally heard like sh pop. You heard it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Shit. Damn. I I remember the sound. It was like a like when you take a chicken bone out of the socket kind of like Oh my god. No, like literally oh, it sounded fuck. like that. Okay, so you've had your ACL injury. 
I've had my mouth injury. <laughs> You've never really been hurt to the point where you can't play in our games. You did have the collision with Baby Aegon. I still don't know how <laughs> like we both got up. Like, hmm? Regina, I know you've had a fair share of injuries. Oh, she had like the most nasty one them. recently. 21? 21. Wait, 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 yeah. what? Not in Dodger films. No, no just okay. in general. <laughs> Were you going to say 21 broken bones? Like yeah. fractures, broken bones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, gymnastics. What's the most painful injury you've had? Right now I'm kind of dealing with my shoulder because it pops out. Ugh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Bro, but... One time I broke, I broke the Yo, we gotta clip the, that sound. Make what? that a sound uh. bite. The, uh. It's like the Indian chief, the meme. The, uh. <laughs> when I was in gymnastics, I landed half on, half off a mat. Uh. And I broke up here. And it was the worst. Shit. <laughs> Chris looked at me again because he heard the sound. He heard the... He heard the uh. That's my new favorite sound, brother. But... The, uh. but I would like to say the funniest one is I was playing Xbox Connect. And <laughs> <laughs> Not the Xbox Connect. Basically, if you don't know what that is, it's like we, basically. Yeah. We for the Xbox. Yeah. Um, and, and what happened? I was playing tennis, and let's just say I went a little too crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I broke my elbow in two places. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 you also led perfectly into the next note, which is you also did gymnastics. Uh -huh. And I said, what made you start gymnastics and what made you stop gymnastics? Starting it, I have a bad heart as well. Um, so I have any regular heartbeat. And <laughs> Uncle wow. Sam looks like he just heard <laughs> that for the first time. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> he was like, no way. Um, <laughs> Dude, this is new Regina lore, bro. <laughs> the doctor was like, well, she should go into swimming, gymnastics, just something to keep her cardio. Yeah. Well, I hate water. So there was only one other choice. Oh, going in water. I'm like, yeah. well, our gift waters must suck then. <laughs> yeah, throw those away. But, you know, I was about to cry when you handed me this because water's here. No, I could take this one because huh? I opened mine. Oh, just stealing. No, just stealing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no stealing. Uh, <laughs> it's bad. I ended it because I just wasn't loving it anymore. Okay. Like my coach sucked. I had to coach myself the whole last season. Yeah. And I was like... I didn't play baseball until I was 10. I did karate my whole life before that. Huh? I was one belt away from a black belt, and no, I quit you, to play baseball. Bro, no, you weren't. <laughs> yeah. That's new Austin lore. That's, <laughs> and, and, and even I'm freaking out. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, Master... It's purple. Elsmer? I think his name was Elsmer. Master Elsmer. What, the belt before black belt? Yeah. No, ours was brown with red stripe. Do you remember <laughs> any of your moves? Roundhouse kick. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Show us. All right, camera. Roundhouse, <laughs> kiss the, roundhouse yeah. kick the camera. Yeah. And, All right, uh, buckle in, guys. We did get to break wood. Like, we had, like, the, the easy to... Yeah, we did those, like, That's elbows. Cool. And the scariest one to me was we had to go up with our ankle and then come down, Ooh. like, with the ball of your ankle and I break the wood. I right now. Somewhere, it's either here or it's at my parents' house. I still have the belts and I still have the pieces of wood <laughs> that I broke. I stopped at a white belt. <laughs> yeah, he, he, went, he went. I went like three times. No, you went bro. one time because you were afraid yeah. to, you're gonna hurt someone. No, I didn't want to. Nah. I didn't want to stop beef with my master. We did have. We had sparring. Yeah, we had, we, I didn't want to like. I didn't want to like fight my. He's master. like, if I fight him, he's gonna get mad at me. Yeah, exactly, bro. I didn't want to hurt anyone. I was like. I was, a, I was a pacifist. We, we did sparring. We had these giant, like, padded chest plates with a big red dot here and two yeah. on the side. And then we had, like, the helmets, too. Like you, your short-term karate journey. Mm -hmm. I had a short-term soccer journey. Really? I went to one practice, and I quit on the same day. Too much I played soccer, too, in high school. Too much what? Too much running? I don't know why I quit. I was five. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that kind of makes more I played for the Metal Sharks. They won the championship. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did so. you get a ring? Nope. Damn. That's it's crazy, all team right? members should get a ring. I know. I was there for a practice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I played soccer because my school was D7. We were cheeks. D7? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know it went that well, low. They, exist. they go to like D10, don't they? Or something like I that. I thought it only went to D3. Anyways. It's wild. So, like three people scored goals that season. Yeah. And I was one of them. Okay. So, uh, I succeeded in life. If we ever do Dodger Film Soccer, I am goalie. I am not yeah. running up and down that field. No, I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to sit that one out. <laughs> <laughs> I might be with you, honestly. You don't the sidelines. Oh, come know. on. Get dirty, Me bro. and Dallas needs a rematch oh, of basketball. Dude, can I be a coach? I'll be like Ted Lasso, bro. I've never seen the show, but I'll be like Ted Lasso. <laughs> just grow mustache. Just fucking around. <laughs> yeah. You said you kind of just fell out of love with gymnastics, Regina, but I know your current passion, modeling. Yes. How did you start modeling? Well, this is a fun one. Um... I've always kind of 
hated people. <laughs> huh? I mean... People can be pretty annoying. Yeah. 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 Social, <laughs> ang- it's social anxiety. So, yeah. this is weird talking to the camera. Yeah. Just in general. <laughs> um, but it's alright. It's just I, me and Mobo. You're doing good. Yeah, you're doing I good. I mean, I know you guys <laughs> yeah. a decent amount. So, um, so, I'm like, well... I couldn't hold eye converse. I mean, I couldn't. <laughs> eye contact. Sorry, yeah, eye yeah, contact. Yeah. Blonde moment. But I was like, I should do something because I'm bored with my life. I had just quit gymnastics, you know. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, I've always kind of felt comfortable in front of a camera, oddly enough. Mm-hmm. And let me just throw myself out to the wolves to get over it. Mm-hmm. I went to a performing arts school and learned what I needed to learn. And then I exited that place because it was kind of (laughs) shady. You want more Austin lore? I also used to do performing arts. Really? I was in Seussical the Musical. (laughs) (laughs) I've seen it. wanted to be a thing, you know, thing one, thing two. Uh Um, But you had to be able to do a cartwheel. Mm. And I've always been a big kid. So I was not able to do a cartwheel. So I got to be a who. All I did was wear yellow. Nice. <laughs> and then, uh, but I got tired of it because I thought I'd keep getting made fun of if I kept doing plays. Yeah. And then my gr- or my mom was like, do you want to do Santa Claus 3? And I was like, I told you I'm done with plays. She was like, no, this is a movie. And then I ended up in Santa Claus 3 and right. Chuck and Larry and all that. <laughs> okay, so started with performing arts. And then just realized... That- I really love being in front of a camera because the camera doesn't judge. Sure, it's the people behind it. Mm-hmm. But the camera, I get to be myself. Yeah. And I turn into a different person. Modeling Regina is far different than whatever this is. <laughs> <laughs> so, so You get to play characters, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, I get to bring other people's visions to life. Yeah. And that's super fun. It's kind of like acting, but no talking or anything, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like you, said, no, like you said, no judgment behind no. it. Just watch it. They get it behind is. the camera and they're so just like, you're a ferocious velociraptor. Give yeah. me ferocious <laughs> velociraptor. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> so I just fell in love with it, kept doing it. The only thing is I get judged because I'm 5'2". You're supposed to be 5'9". Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, so I've had, to wear, I've had to wear like nine That's a skill issue. Things. Shit. It's crazy. Have you ever had a photographer that does stuff like that where they're like, you're a lion. You're... <laughs> like, do they hype you up like that? <laughs> yes. Oh. yes. But I feel like some of it's more joking. Okay. So it's like, do model things, do this, do that. And okay. Like, I've had some weird photographers. You know, I imagine. As you, should, mm. you would mm-hmm. know. Um, but, Yeah. What are uh, the big goals of modeling? For example, like baseball, it's to win the World Series, to be the all-star team. So, like, what are the goals you want to hit in modeling? I've been in some magazines, some small, some medium, but I would really love to be in, like, a bigger magazine. What's a big magazine, like in your Vogue, opinion? you know, okay. just high fashion. And, magazine. like, the cover oh. is, like, what you want, right? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I would love to be on the cover. So, Vogue, if you see this, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> what's one of your favorite locations you've ever shot at i always love the beach shoots okay um because wait I you hate the, the water though i hate the water <laughs> but i love the beach you okay. love the feel of the sand is the sand will get you i love the sand i love like the culture about the beach you know just people uh-huh. just having fun being like free mm-hmm. just living life hey she's right there's never bad vibes at the beach never mm-hmm. true do you have a favorite fit from your one of your shoots I like the shoots where I could style myself. I was going to say, so are, are some of them your clothes? Yeah. Okay. And then I have a stylist for some, which, I mean, she's she's like the older version of me. Okay. And <laughs> I love her. Mm-hmm. So she's like in her 50s, 60s, and she's just like careless, and like she, she gives me stuff. She always gives me clothes every time I see her. Yeah. But I love her styling me, but I really love when I could take creative control. Okay. And just, you know... Most of the stuff I find is at Goodwill, and I'm just like, I want to see how I could... Repurpose. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, that's actually that's pretty yeah. badass. You yeah. get to take, like you said, you just, they let you cook. Those are the Sometimes, hidden gems, yeah. though. I love them. Goodwill, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. I've gotten plenty of stuff from mm-hmm. there. Yeah. I found a pair of overalls. I have yet to wear them. <laughs> I've public. seen the picture. <laughs> <laughs> I got them for two bucks. I love overalls. At Goodwill. So... Yeah. Goodwill's a shit. Go thrifting, yeah. guys. You'll Dude, be surprised at what you find. Cleats at Ross and those type of stores. Yeah. Oh, I bought, Dude, I bought, I bought, I bought, I bought cleats yeah. from Ross. Yeah. I bought Nike ones from there. Yeah. That was sick. 
I found really good cleats at Burlington Coat Factory. What? <laughs> yeah, they were Nike. They were like the softball ones. They were like gray. At a Burlington, huh? <laughs> gray and white. And I'm like, I really have, I have my new ones. You know, the mm. white ones with the red on them. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I really love these gray ones, but there's no point. <laughs> now, for your outfits when you model, the ones that they give to you, you're like, or they're like, this is your outfit for this shoot. Do, do you have to give them back every time or do you get to keep them sometimes? Um, the bathing suit ones, I get to keep. So if I'm doing a shoot for a bathing suit company, yeah. I get to keep them. Okay. But if it's other things, I genu- like generally have to give them back. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Have, you, have you ever worn any like pieces that have been like, I, I obviously in this sense unreleased and that's why you're modeling them. Those are the ones that you obviously give back, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think the coolest thing I've worn was like a dress that was like thirty, no, twenty three thousand dollars. Oh my god! What was it, yeah. Neiman Marcus? I have no idea. What did it look like? Dude. It was sparkly. Sparkly. It, it was crazy. <laughs> but it was, was that? Was it like some Met Gala type shit? I wore it to an Oscar party at. A, You've huh? been to an Oscar party? Like, like a Beverly Hills one. Like it's like one of the after party type oh, things. Just a Beverly Hills party for Regina. My bad. And I did a <laughs> Something <show>. lying. <laughs> I, have, I don't remember, but I just remember that I slipped when I was modeling it. Oh, wow. Oh. And it was funny. you seen other, like, disasters happen on the runway? Yeah, I have. <laughs> Two of the times have been me. Oh, no um, way. But it's usually if I'm wearing something sparkly, because mo- since I'm kind of short, I mean, I'm not kind of short, I'm short. Mm-hmm. So the sparkles will go under my heels, and I would, like, slip. Just eat it. <laughs> yeah, twice. That That's happened. softball. Who has model attitude and energy and could pull it off, in your opinion? Momo. <laughs> I knew it. I was going to answer that, too. Momo always hypes me up, no matter what I'm wearing. He's like, that's a sleigh. And I'm like, I love you. Yeah. You know? So, I, it's Momo. When I wrote that, I was like, she's going to say Momo. Uh, <laughs> that was my answer, too. Yeah, yeah Momo's just very... But he's, like, nonchalant about it. Yeah. He's like, I have style, I have class, but I'm not going to let... I think I have a... Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Look at that. You made me bless your oh. shit. Oh, my God. DXL, let me know. <laughs> DXL or any big boy friendly clothing. Shaq's clothing line? Hey, I actually have a Shaq shirt. I just got a Shaq shirt. <gasps> guys, Shaq shirt. I don't know if you guys even noticed this in the last podcast. We pulled up in the same pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His, uh, his um, Mama Kleshka got us matching track suits for the, for the pod. We wore them in one episode, but... It, Many episodes later, we wore the pants again. And we <laughs> we, did we not look like a cult. That. It was awesome. <laughs> Your dogs, you have Patriot and what's the other one? Liberty. Liberty. I fully believe they have the ability to end my life. <laughs> oh, Patriot for sure. Dude, yeah. Damn. Dude, don't walk up on that thing, Patriot. Pa- no. Hey, she she's very protective of me. Yeah. And like with everything going on right now, like she everything's just like. Christopher peeked over the gate and Dude, I pretended about- I pretended to be the imposter, bro. <laughs> and, and, and she almost you just vented jumped, for a second. She almost jumped the gate. She was growling. Dude, at him. I was gonna oh. say. And it took her a second to realize it was me, even when I was like, yo, oh, chill out. No, and I, I was the one who had to be like, lovey, it's okay. Cause like I call her something sweet, right? Yeah. <laughs> I Liberty, all you have to do is just make a loud noise, bring up Or say you want to play ball. And then and she's like, Whoop. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. Her. So pa- Liberty is just terrified of everything too. Yeah. So um, she'll run away if someone. That's the thing. But then the she'll house. come back. That's the thing. She'll like course. peek around the corner to make sure like what's going on. One dog's fighting. The other one's just like peeking around the corner. <laughs> yeah. well, that's like, the thing. I don't see what's happening with dogs. I've grown up with a dog in my house my whole life, and eat no matter. If it's a family dog, the dog always attaches itself to one person mm-hmm. in the family. Based off all your stories that you post to Patriot, every time I see him, I'm like, that dog would kill me. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Ryan is terrified. Do you have a command that would make her, like, get that person? Is it pretty much just sick? It's pretty much just letting her see any people. <laughs> <in> it. <laughs> so just, you're like, How do you out. feel living with the dog? Oh, no, she's fine to me. Okay. Like, okay, so we have to do a certain process when we introduce her to new people. Yeah. Um, you can't be standing in the house. She'll, <laughs> she'll take you as a threat. The so same. everyone has to sit on the couch oh my God. before we let her in. And then she's Holy so sweet. Balls. Yeah. Angel's just got the lead, by the way. Let's nice. go. You have her very well trained. I've seen your stories where you'll be in like some random parking lot. And you got her like... To just do every command easy. Um, I'm still working on it. Oh, okay. Because 
she's very reactive. So if she's mm. alone, she's perfect. Mm-hmm. She'll do any command, anything. Okay. But if she sees people or a dog, all hell breaks loose. Yeah. So I have to keep <laughs> string cheese with me at all times. <laughs> How did you get her to adjust to Liberty sure. so well? She's always been very good with other dogs when she's off leash. Okay. The, the leash gives her tension and mm. she's like, I do not like feeling like I am trapped. Okay. So she did really good. They, we actually introduced them when Patriot's brother, Andy's dog, Red Hat. Oh, Red dog, Hat, yeah. Yeah, um, was there. So mm. they met her at the same time. And so <laughs> Patriot and Red Hat's dog are siblings. And okay. then if you guys remember Renee, his German yeah. Shepherd is siblings with Liberty. Oh, okay. Our guy Chris right here, Uncle Slam. By the way, his real name's not Sam. <laughs> Bro, like, Sam. Um, Everybody people, thinks you're Sam, huh? People, some people think that my name is Uncle. <laughs> nah, <laughs> get out. People, Uncle! People think my last name Ew. is last. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, Mimo, we didn't write this down, but Mimo, we're talking about this. Are you aware that Bobby, <laughs> when you're the last pick and he goes last... He's waiting for you to get off frame. I, yeah. I did. That's why I try to like walk faster. Okay. So, when, when did you just start like getting I it? I mean, I thought it was like funny because no one told me this. So I yeah. thought like. I think it's funny. I didn't even know until he was like, a, did you notice it that? It took me a long time because I was looking at the comments and everyone would always say Regina last. Duh. So I thought it kind of like became a trend. <laughs> I think it's funny. I always thought it was a timing thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly thought. No, that I think I think that's why he holds it. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's waiting for her to walk off frame. Yeah. Next game that we try to film, don't don't even get off camera. Just <laughs> just, just, just kind of stand there for a second and like eyeball him, and then just slowly like shuffle to the side. <laughs> yeah, just walk. I'd be terrified that I would get yelled at. When did you like full on start playing baseball? Because well, okay, by the time that you joined us, you were already playing, right? Ooh, I don't think I truly ever really played baseball. Like really, no, uh, no pony, no little league. I think I know I, you played school. I for played, sure. I, I played, played high school for one year because of mm-hmm. COVID. Mm-hmm. Um, I well, I played high school baseball for one year and one game. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what one a track game, record. One game because during high school, like we only had one game and they shut us down for basically the rest of high school. Yeah, that's right. Wait, yeah. when you joined. Or when when you joined the football t- or the football yeah, yeah. when football. you started uh, baseball that was your freshman year and that freshman was the COVID year? year freshman year and then sophomore year we had one game and then COVID happened and then they shut us down for the rest of my high school like, wow. experience yeah so and then before that I only had two years of pony experience and then yeah what position did you like play when you full down play oh um. I loved playing first base in high school. I played first base. Yeah. I want to. I want to hear your reasoning because I played first base. I like the first year I played. I claimed it. I was like, I'm playing here, mm-hmm. and I had a reason why. What's your reason why? Uh, my my reason why is okay. First of all, because our our no one else at our school. It was only me and Red Hat mm-hmm. that, that actually knew that baseball. actually could catch a ball. <laughs> nah. So I've heard the rumors. So Red Hat was a pitcher. Okay, think about a D7. We, we only face pitchers that would really throw 60 miles per hour at top in high school. Mm-hmm. And Red Hat sometimes, like, during the last season, he was chucking 85. Jeez. <laughs> we and were looking at him like, this is Randy You'd face Johnson. other D7 schools, right? Yeah, we would face other D7. So did he just wipe the floor with all those schools? Here's the downfall of Red Hat. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. He could not locate a strike. Oh, man. Oh, he really was. So he had his velo, but he didn't have his control. Yeah. Yeah. But he did throw a no hitter during one of the games. Oh, nice. The reason you played first is just because you were able to catch a ball. Yeah, just because I was able to catch. Not like I was getting many thrown. Not like I was getting many uh, throws to me because no one could field the ground balls. But it was. It is what it is, man. I wanted to play it because. I saw it as the action would always come to me. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's either a ball hit at me or any other ball in the infield would come to me. Yeah. So I was like, I always want to be involved. And yeah. so that's why. And I was tall. So coaches immediately liked it. Uh, were you both homeschooled? I was. Mm, Regina was. Yes. You weren't at all? So here's the thing. Mom couldn't handle them. No, she kicked <laughs> me out. <laughs> so, Are you serious? Yes, I'm completely But here's the, here's the breakdown on this. So um, I went to a magnet school. What does that mean? Like a uh, like like it's called a charter school in some in some like counties. Like when you, I'll say that again. When you like, what does that mean? <laughs> so a magnet. Like I went to a public school that was a magnet. So it's like when you have like higher grades, like you go into like special mm. like 
learning or whatever. So you were smart. I was smart. You <laughs> was smart. I was smart. <laughs> Dude, TikTok just right in your brain, huh? <laughs> exactly. I was on that talk too much. Yeah. And some stuff happened and we're basically, I got sick for a long period of time with uh-huh. my illness and stuff. Yeah. Primary immunodeficiency, long story. Crazy name. It's like me and multiple sclerosis. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah. I had to be put on... Um, Iron lung. Yeah, I, I, thought so too. My I was kidding. Like, <laughs> you know what? You know what an iron lung is, right? No, oh, yeah. I, I had to be put on an iron <laughs> like, lung. <laughs> so I had to put on. I had to be put on homeschooling, right? Yeah. So, um, pretty much, yeah. So that's the only time I was homeschooled. But luckily, a teacher would come to my house because my mom was like, "No, I'm done with you. I'm not teaching <laughs> you, bro. Like you, you're you're too ADHD for me." Yeah. <laughs> so. Damn. What's something? <laughs> So, uh, most people assume about homeschooling that is, they're just wrong. Um, people think we're weird, which is That's true. Cap. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> that is completely true. Like, yeah, it's true. Social anxiety is real. And oh, it's I'm, true. I'm, oh, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I was like, why are you thinking one thing or the other? <laughs> it's true. Or you're like, saying they true. think it's true, but you're saying it's not true. No, it is true. Oh, so I want to clear the air and let you know that is true, and your assumptions about us are correct. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm awkward. I think this is like the first year that I've actually really talked to the crew. Yeah. So, yeah. you guys could, you know. Mm. But I would like I that it's like easy and not real school. People are auto, like automatically like, well, you had it easy. Mm-hmm. Which sometimes, yeah, Quizlet came through. But <laughs> Quizlet came through for me in yeah, college. No, it did. Yeah. So. So, for me, it's oh, fast. I mean... It is real school, and people just think, also, it could be a cult, which <laughs> some of it is not a cult, guys. I, I'm assuming it's not what I see on TV, to where yeah. your mom is literally like, okay, time for science. <laughs> Thank God, no. no. Um, but it was all on computer. Oh. So, yeah, Damn. it was like taking a college course, but like computer. Literally growing yeah. up, that's what I thought. Like, there's an episode of George Lopez, where Angie literally homeschools Carmen and she's like we have math let's go and she rings it so TV and media made me think that <laughs> I think in the beginning because I started when I was in third grade because I had mm-hmm. an abusive teacher uh-huh. who would throw books at and pencils at students some... wait 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 yeah, abusive crazy. teacher in third grade yeah what the don't catch fuck? Jimmy acting yeah, up yeah it was bro. crazy <laughs> anyways oh, shit. um I was like a teacher's pet so just being in that environment <laughs> sucked I gotta go next but <laughs> But, um, yeah, so in the beginning, it was kind of more like that, where my mom would be, like, handing me pamphlets, stuff like that. But as the internet got better, it evolved. It, it evolved. Yeah. So, so she had, a, she was a, st- a student for this one teacher. After she graduated, this teacher was, like, so hyped to have me as a student. First gra- it was yeah. our first grade teacher. Based off how she Based was in the like class. Based off, her performance, she yeah. was like, oh, this kid, like, is going to be great. <laughs> Um, you're like let me tell yeah, you like, <laughs> so we treated this teacher so poorly <laughs> holy <laughs> like yeah, him and three others with like ADHD yeah. and all that stuff right? like we made this teacher like actually pack up and retire she went on <laughs> Dude. Christmas vacation and, and then never, she came, came, she never back. came back <laughs> so you had a new teacher <laughs> yeah I'm sorry but she can't handle Uncle Creamy Dude, that sounds like my <laughs> You can't handle the cream, then you don't get to live the dream. I guess you cream too much. (laughs) Dude, no, I had the same thing happen with with my uh, math teacher in senior year of high school. I think, sucks. I don't know if I'm airing his dirty laundry or not. (laughs) Apparently, he was going through a really bad, like, divorce Mm -hmm. from his wife of X amount of years. And bro just did not spawn in for the last month of school. And we had substitutes coming in and out, in and out, in and out. And you know the rule where it's like if he's late there for, there for 15 minutes, you can just leave? Yeah. <laughs> we counted it. A, a, like a student or a faculty member didn't show up until like almost half an hour passed to open the doors. And everybody was like actually about to walk out. I would have walked out at the 15-minute mark. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was such a bitch. I didn't do it. We all share a common love of baseball. Baseball. And MLB All-Star voting just opened not too long ago. Three players I want from everyone for the AL and NL who 100% get your vote. I'll start off if you guys need time to think. For the NL, I have Luis Arias. The dude is batting over 400 right now. Unheard of for this time. (laughs) Ronald Acuna, the leading NL MVP candidate, I would say. Freddie Freeman. 
He's up there in OPS. He's up there in average. Those are my three for the NL. Then you go to the American League, Shohei Otani. He can pitch. Without a doubt. He can hit. And he's always in the top ten ranks. Then Yandy Diaz. Somebody had to be from the Rays. The best team in baseball right now. He's up there in average. He's up there in uh, OPS. He's up there in home runs, RBIs, runs. Almost every offensive category, he's top ten. Then Aaron Judge. You know what he did last year. He's already been out with injury this year, and he still has 19 home runs. Is he out currently as we No, he's back, this? but there, he missed time earlier this year, just a little bit. Yeah. And he's still performing as one of the best players out there. So I guess we'll just go right to left. All uh-huh. right. So I got under the AL, I have Nathan, Evol- uh, Nathan Eovaldi. It's another good one. Completely just balling out. Every time he pitches, I swear they're posting about him on Instagram. <laughs> bro, bro is a legend. Otani, because yep. come on. Obviously. Yep. Nobody else is Babe Ruthin right now. Mm-hmm. And just a personal favorite, Randy Rosarena. Uh, I just I love his attitude. Like I said, somebody had to come from the Rays cuz they're not the best team in baseball without that team, so. Straight up, though. <laughs> you got to give them props. And then for the NL, I have Spencer Strider, another yep. pitcher just he's, balling out. Same Yavaldi effect. Every time he pitches, he's getting posted about. <laughs> I have Luis Arias as well cuz yep. batting 400 in this day and age where the ball is like this small. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And I have Ronald Acuna. There you go. That's my third. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go with Who you got Zach, Gallen. Zach Allen. Zach Allen. Zach okay. Allen. Zach Gallen. Pete Alonzo. All right. Big All right. Pete. Pete Alonzo or either Freddie Freeman. One of them's got to make it. I mean, you got two spots in the NL left, so, so you could put you both could of put them. Both. <laughs> um, we got to go Max Muncy. He's gonna he's gonna tear it open for the last. You couple. love your first baseman. <laughs> it's three. Oh, he's for... playing third now. Oh, uh, huh. He's all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But um, Adley Rutschman. Okay. Adley Rutschman. Mm-hmm. Completely. Regina forgot. had a big smile when you said Adley um, Rutschman. <laughs> let's go. I was going to go Nathan Avaldi, but instead I'll go Garrett Cole. He's going to make the All Star yeah. team. Yeah. He actually, I think this is one of the years where he is balling out so much right now, where he could be Cy Young finally. Mm-hmm. He is always up there every year, but he never gets it. Still never had one. It's like Mike Trout never winning a Gold Glove. Did yeah. you know that? He's never won He's one. Never won one. Still never to this day. That's crazy. Kevin Kiermeyer and Adam Jones are my mortal enemies because they always <laughs> steal it from me. Yeah. And then Matt Chapman. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. For Completely me, valid. The NL. Mm-hmm. Spencer Strider. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Francisco Lindor. Yeah. I've always okay. loved Frankie. He's all. Mobile loves Lindor. He's just so fun to watch. Yeah. Right. I love watching him. I'm going to um, keep saying it because I think we've talked about it on the pod before. You have to do Lindor for Halloween. Oh, you I know. Already, I, I yeah. want to grow my hair and just dye it you, just for that you, time. Right now, you, you have the it, hair. You, you just it. need yeah. to dye it. That's all you need to do. I just got to shave it down. And then just, just pull a shortsy, buy his jersey, and return it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd actually keep it because, come on, the pinstripes. Yeah, honestly, I love hard. I hate the Awesome. Oh, I love the match. Strider, Lindor. And Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. And then for the AL, I'm going to have to go with Julio Rodriguez. Okay. Oh, I could have had him. Jade um, Adley Rutschman, I've been, you know, a follower of his since college. Mm-hmm. And then Shohei Otani. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was the last one. <laughs> and I also wanted to know a player you all love that doesn't get the attention, but you think deserves that attention. For me, I said Zach Neto. He just got to the Angels this year. He was just drafted last year. It hasn't even been a full year since he got drafted. He's already our shortstop. He is on the level of defensive wizardry as in Dalton Simmons. Oh, without a doubt. And, oh, bye ball. No, Uh, no bye ball. Never mind. Um, Premature celebration. Yeah, whatever. (laughs) Uh, And he's a decent enough hitter. And he's also been plunked like 11 times. Mm. And he's, I don't know. He's literally the ball he, magnet. He is a ball magnet. But for me, it's Zach Neto. Uh, I'm going to piggyback off of that. I think Neto, because nobody is talking about him, and he is balling out, whether it's just getting on base and getting some kind of a rally started. And like you just said, he's our new Simba. And honestly, I think if he stays healthy enough and just the experience of loan of being with the guys that we have on our team and the competition we face in the West and in baseball in general, I think he could become like one of the best shortstops. That's one of the payoffs that I think a lot of people are questioning the Angels on why we're calling up people so fast. Yeah. We suck, first of all. Mm-hmm. Second of all, agree. I th- <laughs> no, I'm joking. Thanks, thanks, Slam. 
<laughs> I think it'll pay off in the long run because they're getting this MLB experience now. Mm-hmm. That's Neto. what you need. We can't let people rot anymore like Joe Adele did. Yeah. No, like straight up because what has Adele done since he came up? Nothing. Nothing. Nito has done so much more, and he's only been on the team for what? Three Neto, months? you got Neto up there, Ben Joyce, Sam Bachman, Oof. all young, all drafted in like the last four I'm years. Big on ben Joyce, Ben Joyce oh, is yeah. nuts. His first MLB strikeout, none of the pitches were under a hundred. Okay. Cedric Mullins, I agree. He I feel definitely like he does not get more talked love. about enough. Uh, the one I would like to say is super controversial. <laughs> oh so no! I'm not say it. And oh. plus, he's not having a good year in Japan. Uh, <laughs> oh, um, I think that was a dead clue. I've always been a huge Yasmani Grandal fan. Oh, you have. I, yeah, have, I, I even have Big a fan yes, page. I don't really <laughs> use it anymore. But um, official yeah, Yasmani I, Grandal stan. Yeah, like <laughs> even when he was a Dodger and he was doing good, no mm. one was like. Yeah, nobody really. No one cared. Rode behind him. And then when I saw him in real life. When we, we were, were staying in, at the hotel, I, uh, I fangirled. I didn't go say hi because, you know, he was with his family. I'm like, there's no way. Was it you and me that saw Lance Lane and Liam Hendricks outside the hotel? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't do shit. I saw Tony LaRusso. <laughs> LaRusso? LaRusso. <laughs> you don't want to know. You're, you're thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm already thinking about it. <laughs> Gabe called him. Make sure I'm correct on this. I think we're doing I notes. heard the story. No, what yeah. happened? Gabe, so the they story. were in the elevator. Gabe called him an old fuck, right? I heard that. Yes, <laughs> right? I heard that. That was because that was that was like legit days after he had like shelled one of his players for no, but Gabe. Remember that? I don't think Gabe knew it was him. No, Gabe did not know it was him. (laughs) He did some. He did something like that caused Gabe to say that, but I forget. And then everyone's like, "Bro, that's Tony Larusa." I think it's because he got mad at one of his players like pimping a home run. He did German Mercedes. German. There we go. He hit the grand slam. He said he deserved to be punished. He was like. He didn't defend him at all. You both have been to plenty of ballparks. Mm-hmm. You actually might be after me. I'm at 23, and then I think you guys might have the next most out of everybody in the crew. We have 14. 14. I think Art's, Damn. I think Art's right behind you guys. I think Art's either tied or he has 13. What's your favorite stadium you've been to? Fenway. Hands <laughs> that down. Was I'm fast. a Fenway girl. <laughs> yeah. I love Fenway. The people at Fenway. I, I, I was going to say, I should know that because you've been posting this year I how much you want to go back. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm trying to go back yeah. this year. Yeah. It's going to happen. You're going to manifest it. I know. I'm like... Now, you are yeah. wearing Fenway. Is the yeah. answer Fenway? Um, Personally, I like Fenway's like ballpark the best. Yeah. But I love the city, like the inner city of Chicago. Like, Oh, yeah. Chicago's yeah. downtown Chicago's is downtown. the best downtown. Well, That's... it's either that or Pittsburgh for me. I love Dodger Stadium. It's my home. But... Like, Dodgers, Fenway, everything about it. I yeah. still say this till this day. Dodger Stadium doesn't have anything that's like, wow. It's just like, classic. It's, it's just... <laughs> it, really, it really is. Like, if, oh. if they rotated the stadium like a 180, it'd be you know, better. You know what I yeah. found out about that? Hmm. That there was a rule. Because I was like, why isn't is it Dodger Is it not stadium? facing Skyline? Yeah. Yeah. Because I was like, even all my friends, that that all stadiums have to face a certain direction. Stupid. No way. Right, yeah, then, there was a rule. I was like, move LA downtown then. I was like, but <laughs> what now, if we but move now the it ball doesn't. Park but now that here. rule doesn't exist. So pick up Dodger Stadium and rotate it, bro. Yeah, because if the skyline was what you saw in the that outfield, would, it would be amazing. It looks so oh, much yeah. better. Oh, 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 Neto, and that's Zach Neto, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, guys, oh, we we're just gassing God. him up. That's why. But I think I've said multiple times my favorite stadium is uh, Pittsburgh. I want to go there so bad. That's like my next dream park. It's so amazing just that's what dodger stadium's missing because they that's have what dodger stadium could be if the, they rotated this they have the skyline yeah. right there it's closer like la skyline's like out there yeah. but pittsburgh skyline's right behind it it's and only then, separated by a river and then you have the bridge the clemente just... bridges they're all that pittsburgh yellow and you've actually been to a few stadiums that i have not been to so i'm a little jealous of that let me see i have them written down the one what the heck charge battery Hmm. Honest, that's not good. <laughs> well, I guess you'll be hearing my voice while seeing Slam Regina and Mo. <laughs> Did it just stop recording completely? Oh no, the battery's dead. Oh, <laughs> everybody like that. And my <laughs> brand new camera only came with one battery. So, but yeah, I think that is all. And I know you're looking at MLB Grid yeah. on there. I forgot to make the MLB Grid, so we don't have an MLB Grid. We do not have one today. <laughs> I had a cleaning day in the office. Mm. 
as you guys are aware, we did get a bunch of new equipment. So with a bunch of new equipment comes a bunch of new boxes. <laughs> and that becomes a bunch of trash. Yes. Next time I will have an MLB grid ready. And there still is one more box. It's staring at me over there. It's orange. It's oh, still- I can see it. Oh, I thought it's you were talking about the TNT box. <laughs> oh, no, no. As long as you don't have flint and steel in here, yeah. we will be fine. <laughs> yeah, I think about lighting this. <laughs> you a Minecraft head? No, I don't play Minecraft. I play Fortnite. I'm oh, a Fortnite Come on. Do you play with Bumpy? Nah. <laughs> I play Fortnite Lumpy. with Regina every, like, every night. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. teaching her to play Fortnite. Um, you guys run duos? Well, we want actually squads. Yeah. Oh. Wow. All my brother's friends are like, Regina, we need a fourth. Can you uh, just hop on? I, she just, just be there? I, like, assumed okay. it was, I assumed it was Regina, Slam, Mom, and Fred. <laughs> just the family does. that's dub. a scary-ass Fortnite. Dude, dude. no, we like... We like Dude. We tear it up. <laughs> we tear it up. Yeah. Like some days we go on like five wins on in a row. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Like I'm not trying to brag about my Fortnite. Right, is, is the competition weak sauce in Fortnite now compared yeah. to when it was like at its height? Yeah. Okay. Like I think my record is 24 kills in a game. Damn. Do what? I I'm Isn't lucky if people? I get two. Yeah. <laughs> He, you killed 25% of the map? Uh-huh. <laughs> Fuck, I could not get no. to... You have a camera that's on. You get to do the outro today. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, let's see. Ah, I hope I don't mess this up. Ladies and gentlemen, we upload on Spotify every Thursday at 2 p.m. And make sure to look out for the video version on YouTube at 2 p.m. on Fridays. So, uh, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Share it to your friends, your family, whoever is in need of new content. Let us know. Give us a try. We love having these people on the on for the episode. And uh, do you guys want to say anything to the fans? Um, no, just thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> or don't subscribe, please. Subscribe, so guys. Please. Uh, everyone's Instagrams and social medias will be down below in the as always in the box. And as always, like and subscribe. And Later. I'm, I'm gonna try and g- give you one last note. <laughs> you can't see me, but I know how badly you want Bobby. It might be coming soon. Hopefully. But we will say this. He is coming. Eventually. (laughs) It will happen. Bye-bye.